Ah, yum. This will be the only video you'll ever need to watch if you're wanting to learn how to bulk. Yes, this is finally my very first YouTube video because I've been putting this off for way too long and now it's time to do it. If you are watching my content for the very first time, my name is Colin Feck and I've been in the fitness industry for over 11 years now. The best way that I thought for me to start my YouTube saga was to teach you how to bulk properly. Just like most people, I started in the same position that you were at one point. I started off as a skinny kid and I only weighed 125 pounds. This is actually the basement that I started training in. I started off with your home workout program because I was too chicken to join a gym. So I started with Insanity and I started with P90X. But little did I know while doing those programs, I was in the mindset of like, oh, you have to eat less in order to look bigger. And when I started those, I was at 165 pounds. Then I'll find a photo, I'll put it up somewhere here. And then yeah, I got down to 125. But in the back of my mind, when I was 15, I was thinking to myself like, man, I'm jacked, I'm fucking shredded. My parents looked at me and they were like, you need to go to the hospital. It looks like you need a B12 shot. So then I knew I'm doing something wrong. And that's when I went down the whole rabbit hole of researching how to bulk properly what to eat, what not to eat, how many calories should I be eating? And the only thing I was left with was a set of bloodshot eyes and just feeling completely overwhelmed. And that was just due to all of the conflicting information and all the conflicting articles. One article would say, do it this way. And then the next article says, no, don't do it this way. And I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck? And for those that are in that position, I'm gonna save you a lot of trouble. Because now I'm gonna give you the step-by-step -step process on how to set your bulk up properly. First step that you need to do is you need to find out how much you need to be eating on a daily basis. And the best and yet easiest way to do that is just to go on Google and look up a macro calculator. Yeah, I know it's a little hypocritical of me talking about the internet and researching, but I'll save you a lot of trouble here. I'll link in the description box the macro calculator that I personally use for myself. It's just like most of your typical ones, you know, you plug in your age, your height, your weight, your activity level. The thing that that's nice about this one is once you get your total numbers, then you could break it down per meal, which makes it a lot better versus looking at all these big numbers and thinking, holy fuck, how am I going to get all this food in? That's the best thing that you can do is break it down from bigger numbers into smaller numbers. And once you figure out your daily eating and how much that you need to eating now it's time to figure out what to actually eat best rule of thumb that i found personally for myself over this whole decade is to follow what's called an 80 20 split so 80 percent of your foods come from clean good sources and 20 percent of your food can be whatever the fuck you want just what i'm going to be doing when i'm done filming this video because my brother went to Susie's cafe and got this gigantic ass cinnamon roll no i'm not gonna eat the whole thing or else i'd probably throw up but i am gonna have a portion of it and here's the reason as to why it's so important to follow the 80 20 rule it's because the best thing that you can give yourself as far as leverage goes is to find things that are going to be sustainable. So in other words, finding things that you can stick with for the very long run. That was one of my number one mistakes that I made when I was younger and when I was first starting out. I got caught in the mental trap of thinking like everything has to be 100% clean, which then in return led to me having a bad relationship with food and basically had a binge eating disorder. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing that. But let's talk about the 80% really quick of your daily eating. This is going to save you a lot of trouble. Keep your food sources dense. One of the biggest mistakes when it comes to someone setting up their bulk is they have way too much food volume meaning that they're eating way too many complex carbs sweet potatoes brown rice quinoa oatmeal and also end up eating way too many veggies and they end up thinking to themselves oh my god it's so difficult to get all this food in well, it's because you're picking foods that are going to be slower digesting. So here's what I personally recommend for carb sources that I've used in the past that work well for me and have worked well for others. Jasmine rice, cream of rice, potatoes, and fruit. Now, can you still have a couple complex sources? Yes, every now and then. But the goal of your bulk is to get food into your stomach and get it out of your stomach as quick as you can. Now that we got the carbs out of the way, now let's talk protein sources. If you can find ways to get a two-in-one ordeal when it comes to your protein, go ahead and go for it. And the best sources of those that I'm talking about are your eggs salmon and ground beef the reason as to why that those are really good sources to take in is due to the calorie density that they carry yes don't get me wrong you can do chicken too as well but don't have that be a big portion of your daily eating and then please 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 i am begging of you do not neglect your fats your fats are so important not only one for keeping your joints lubricated two hormone regulation but three also for keeping your brain sharp if you buy anything that is low fat and all that stuff throw it out for me personally, my go-to fat sources to add in are coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil. Yes, I know I'm naming off of the oils here. Grass-fed butter and normal avocados. Also primarily the salmon and the eggs can also add to the fat sources too. That's the plus of it being a two in one. Now that we got all that done and over with, now we need to figure out how much weight you need to put on per week. Which also ties into one of my other mistakes that I made when I started. Is I was in the mindset of, oh, the quicker that I put on weight, the bigger I'm gonna get and the stronger that I'm gonna get. But all I did was I got really fat. Reason as to why that you end up getting really fat is because one, you end up holding a lot of water weight, and two, you end up holding on to a lot more body fat. 
a very small portion of that is actually lean muscle. Well, the best advice that I can give when it comes to the pace of your bulk is the more patient you are, the better results that you're gonna get with it. A good rule of thumb for me and also the clients that I work with is to go for one to two pounds per week. If you are doing any more than that, you are not doing anything better. This will be the only time to where your body weight will actually matter when it comes to track and progress. Just because you're adding more body weight on doesn't mean that your body composition is getting better. The number on the scale is just a unit of measure to see if your eating plan is working or if it needs a couple changes. The best example that I can give you is this. Let's say you're on week one of your bulk and you step on the scale and you're 190 pounds. And then week two comes around and then you step on the scale and then you're 191. Do not change your eating. You don't need to do it. Wait until the number on the scale starts to slow down and then that that's when you can increase your eating a little bit more. You don't need to rush it. Trust me, patience is going to be your best friend. Let's go from week two to week three as a quick example. Week two, 191. We're still going to stick with that example number. Then let's say week three, then you step on, then you're 191.3. Then that's when you can make subtle changes. So then a good rule of thumb, and this is what I've used personally that has worked for me, once the body weight starts to slow down, then when you go to increase your eating, add anywhere between 250 to 500 calories. And then after that, you just rinse and repeat the whole model. You keep repeating that until you get to the goal composition that you want to go for. And then once you throw that all together, that's how you properly set up your bulk. If you found this video helpful, I am going to start posting once a week on every single Friday. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and be sure to share with a friend.